welcome back to my channel if you are new here hi i'm cassie and today i have another haul for you this time from home sense how cute is that bag took you over there um if you are interested to see what i got from home sense please do keep watching please also remember to like comment and subscribe and without further ado let's get into it so i'm not sure like this isn't a huge haul i won't lie but there's some cute things in home sense right now so i'm not gonna lie there are quite a few cute things in home sense right now i always find home sense is a bit hit and miss there's either loads of good stuff or not very much um personally for me um i want to show you the bag that i picked up from home sense first because i think this must be like a new design but it's like a be kind bag and i just thought it was really cute it's a great size it has tk maxx on the side so maybe it's not i know tk maxx and home sense are like part of the same group but maybe this is like a tk maxx bag but how cute is that it's such a beautiful design so i picked that one up for like one pound thirty or something daft and then i picked up a few other bits and pieces but yeah i love going to home sense and having a mooch around it's really interesting to see what they have in store it obviously changes quite a lot because some of the stuff that they have in there is like one-off stuff um they've got easter stuff in there as well at the moment which is really cute but again it's sort of hit and miss as to whether i'm i haven't been persuaded to buy much from their easter range this year but they've got loads of like cute things like gonks and i'll try and get some footage and pop it in here but i have bought a couple of things so first up is my knotted turban this is a curl care product and it is a one size fits most i might try it on although i'll probably look like an idiot but it's a multifunctional, um, stretchy, universal fit, wear it day or night. Probably wouldn't wear it in the day. I would probably keep it to just drying my hair. But it's um, like a t-shirt type fabric. So cotton, I guess. So it's perfect for naturally curly or textured hair. Helps to prevent frizz. No twisting or tying. Um, one size fits most. So I went for like the maroon colour. I'm just going to put it out the front because I have lost the main packaging bit. But it just looks like that. And you basically chuck your hair in it. I look like Mystic Meg when I've got this on though. I shall, shall tell your fortunes. God. But yeah, you basically chuck your hair in this once it's wet after you've had a shower and it will dry it. And it's supposed to enhance your curls. So... Let me see if I can actually, I would presume you put the back on first, a bit like a swimming cap. Obviously if your hair is wet, it should be easier to get in anyway. Sneaky little thing, but yeah, it keeps your hair in and you can sort of dry your hair it's supposed to enhance your curls this isn't a great look on me but let's be honest you guys aren't gonna be seeing me like this much it'll be like bedtime and my family get the the good fortune of seeing me like this and obviously i wouldn't have makeup on so but yeah that will obviously keep your hair dry keep it in if you're sleeping with it in as well that'll keep it all in one go so that one was 4.99 which I didn't think was too bad. So I know some of them can be quite expensive. So I thought I'd give that a try. Um, my hair's quite frizzy. Quite sort of naturally wavy. And as I've said in a few of the videos before. I'm looking at starting to try the curly girl method. Which is a method of obviously. Shampooing or conditioning your hair. Without like silicones and sulfates and things. And so when I start that one. I will film it and show you guys too. But. I need to get the products first so that's uh, a first type of product that will help next up i picked some shower gel i always like looking at what shower gel they have in especially if it's not too expensive so this was like two or 3.99 um 
I've not heard of this brand before. I think the brand is called I Love. And it's in glazed raspberry, which is a body wash. So it's raspberry, strawberry, donut and vanilla. Which I don't I really love a sweet sort of smelling shower gel. I just... Yeah, that smells really sweet. You definitely smell the raspberry in it. Ugh, it's to die for. Do you know when you get shower gels and they just smell like you could eat them? That's what this one smells like. But yeah, I love the packaging. It was pretty cheap for home scents. I thought I'd give something new a try. So that's that shower gel. I'm sure you'll end up seeing it in an empties video very soon. But I thought let's give that one a try. Treat myself. Next up, I also bought myself a mug. I never need any mugs. I have so many mugs. I literally have overflowing mugs. I don't have room for them anymore because I've got that many mugs. But I'm addicted to buying mugs. Like, you know, you don't need them, but you just see designs that you fall in love with. That's me. I collect mugs. So I bought my very first Easter mug. This is a huge mug. Like, this is my, like, it's a two hand, two hold, two hand holder. Two cup holder. Um, this is a big, like, big teacup. Like, it's pretty big. I mean, my head's not massive, but, you know. There's a really cute little bunny design and the hearts. Um, I haven't actually used this one yet, but there's a bit of sugar at the bottom. So I need to wash that one out. But look, the little bunny's inside. I thought that was really cute. Might make, I might make, like, an Easter hot chocolate or something in there. But yeah, the design goes all the way around. So it doesn't matter which side you hold, the design is still there. Um, I don't remember how much this one was. Maybe 3 or 4 99 But I thought for Easter, I'll treat myself. I'm not getting Easter eggs this year. Just because I'm trying to be healthier and not eat loads of Easter eggs. And plus when the Easter eggs started coming out, I bought a couple anyway. So I've had my fill of Easter eggs now. So I thought I'd get a little mug and do like a little hot chocolate or something. That's that one. This isn't the biggest haul, I won't lie. But I said, um, Home Sense is really hit and miss. But I am always on the lookout for anything sort of um, healing and magical, like witchy vibes. So anything crystal related, anything sort of tarot card related. Um, I love looking at the candles in there and the stationery. So like notebooks, I'm a sucker for those. Um, I love going in and looking at um you know where like all the glassware is and like the home sort of decor bits i like looking at that i like looking down the beauty bit very rarely do i buy anything from the beauty bit but um the beauty sort of soap bits and i like looking at the toy and storage bits so those are like the key areas that i would sort of go and look in at tk maxx or home sense because that's what i'm drawn to i guess but i found a book and the cover drew me in already so the crystal code by tamara dreesen says balance your energy and transform your life i don't read a lot um i am visually dyslexic so whenever i have books and things i do get a headache i lose the place of where i am etc so i don't tend to read an awful lot however i can read so that's obviously not a problem and it's always good to have something to sort of look up if you like so this has got all sorts of like rituals it's got um methods on like how to create sort of moon water um body layout of crystal healing pendulums what else have we got in here crystal grid work how to cleanse your crystals um altars blah 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 it's also got things on palmistry, so reading palms. It's got crystal shapes and what they mean. It's got the meanings and sort of what, what each crystal means. So just a lot of um, sort of like healing, spiritual healing. And I really want to look into it and sort of learn more about that. So for example bit on crystals it's got pictures and things inside tiger's eye there we go this is all the bits about crystals what's that one kunzite um 
Got crystals in here that I've never even heard of. Herkimer, diamond, garnet. I mean, I know what garnet is, but galena. Yeah, there's amethyst. And the tree. Where is pink amethyst? It doesn't actually have pink, pink amethyst in there, but never mind. I'm doing like my own sort of journal on crystals that I have and meanings and how to use them, etc. So as well as having books, I'm going to have like my own sort of guide to use. So that is the Crystal Code. Beautiful book. Love the colours and the information will be very helpful. So that's that one. I don't remember how much it was. Maybe like six or eight ninety nine. I can't remember. Could be completely making all these prices up, but never mind. And then finally, last but not least, I bought myself a candle. So this was how much were you? Nine ninety nine. It's quite a big candle. But it is Moonray Bloom. It says Modern Modern Alchemy. Which I think is the company, Modern Alchemy. It's Moonray Bloom. It doesn't actually say what it um smells like, but it's very sort of moon lunar vibes. It's a double wick and it smells incredible. I can't really describe how it smells, which is awful because now you guys don't know how it smells, but it just smells good, trust me. It's going to be nice. I'm going to have it, I don't really like using candles, if that makes sense, but I like having them. So I've got a lot of candles that are in my room to make my room smell nice. I'll sort of open them every now and again, so obviously let the fragrance seep into my room. But with like my crystals and things, I might set up like a little area where I'll put some candles on at the same time, perhaps. So let me just take the sticker off that one. I'm a sucker for packaging as well. So anything um, with moons on sort of draws me in at the moment. I'm very much getting into my spiritual healing. Also, you guys know that I collect crystals as well. So... That will fit perfectly into my collection so that is that one and that is absolutely everything that i got from home sense this time round. i really do hope you enjoyed this video guys please do remember to like comment and subscribe it really does help support my channel and i thoroughly enjoy and appreciate you guys being here um but with all that being said i will catch you all again in the next video guys bye guys